Good morning, Ada Sparks here with a word of hope. This morning as I got ready to speak to you in our word of hope, I was thinking, you know, I want to go back and find this chapter in Psalms that I know speaks to me when I'm feeling overwhelmed. And as I just began to read it, I felt my own spirits lifted because I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now. It's Psalms 18. And it says, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God and my strength in whom I will trust. You know, sometimes it's hard to trust God. Sometimes when things are not going the way that you think that they should go and it feels like your prayers are falling right out of your mouth and right onto the floor, trust is a tall order. But this scripture says that I will trust God. And trust is is tricky. Sometimes it's all that we have. And the thing about trust is we can look back and know that God has kept us and know that he's been there for us and that we wouldn't be standing here today. I wouldn't be talking to you today if it had not been for him. If he had not kept me in so many other places. You know, his word tells us that we're made overcomers by the words of our testimony. Sometimes I just have to remind myself that he's kept me in so many other situations. And when the world feels shaky, and when it, it feels like my heart is hurting and broken, and everything that I'm asking, Lord, can you take care of this? This doesn't really seem like that big of a prayer, and yet he's not answering it. I just still have to trust that he knows what he's doing. I go back to the scripture in Isaiah that says, his ways are not my ways. His thoughts are not my thoughts. He knows what's going on, even when I don't. So once again, I go back to the scripture. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God and my strength in whom I will trust. So won't you do that with me today and let's just trust him and be wise, not afraid.